what's up everyone um welcome back to my channel today i have a special guest and this is my girlfriend ashley say hi, hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah i think we should have done the bobby lee tiger belly thing where i just like oh, wait, waited just 20 silence minutes me until you say my name. <laughs> we're like 20 minutes into the show and it's just nothing hey, come on see. singing fleetwood mac real quick <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, today we're going to be talking about the movie VHS 94, and we have a lot to say about this one, specifically the Hail Rot Machine. <laughs> yeah, the best, one, the best segment. <laughs> um, well, yeah, speaking of, so VHS 94 is a anthology movie, right? And mm -hmm. it has different segments that they put together. This one has five segments well there's four and then the one that whole like ties it all together so like technically five but yeah there's four main ones and then the one that like goes throughout the movie and then that random one that's by like the director oh. of psycho gourmet yeah <laughs> <laughs> so the segment that holds it all together is called holy hell by jennifer reader and personally i didn't really like how that played out I kind of thought the way that they held the whole entire movie together was um executed really poorly especially compared to the other ones like it's okay, probably I the worst agree, one in the but until the end I like the reveal at the end I mean I guess but I don't think it saves it I don't think it saves it no yet. I will say honestly though the strongest like through line story they had was from VHS 2 yeah and I well I thought the most believable one was the first one yeah, that one is makes me feel icky. And, and that's like what these movies rely on because it's a found footage movie technically. So it's supposed to be like believable, I guess. But they kind of failed at that part. But I mean, they definitely made up in other ways. I believe in Radma. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I kind of agree with uh, Emma Spooky Astronaut's uh, sentiment about the that segment because like, it's it is supposed to be like found footage but like they kind of failed at that like especially compared like if you compare it to the other ones you know what i mean yeah i don't know well i mean i guess it's good i guess it's okay it's no like, it's, I, uh, it was meant until the end i really liked the reveal but like i don't know yeah i i thought that because in the first segment there was that like news like yeah. it was like a newscaster so i thought that was what was holding it together i thought that was really cool how they were gonna like go through news and then like a commercial like that would have been really cool because it was the 90s you know yeah or like more internet-y based i don't know yeah exactly they dropped the ball on that but um the second segment with the funeral am i jumping ahead because i yeah. was not a fan of that one yeah well we'll get to that one we're, we have to talk about storm drain that was the first one right uh, uh. that's the one with ratma I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the so the first real segment is called Storm Drain, and uh, this one was directed by Chloe Okuno, and um, this one is actually they actually did shoot most of this in a real storm drain, and then yeah, for some of icky. it, yeah, exactly. Some of it they said they built like some kind of set for it, but. Uh, for the most part, it's shot in a real storm dream. Well, you probably noticed cool. how excited I was when the ending of that one kind of came about. Yeah. That one made me feel <laughs> really good, you know? I felt really satisfied <laughs> with that one. I feel like this whole movie was pretty satisfying on the gross, disgusting aspect. It really hit our fancies with that. Yeah, I... Um, should we talk about titan together <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> speaking of hitting our growth <laughs> oh my gosh yeah that one was I... <laughs> I have no words i just that was probably my favorite movie of all year that i've seen yeah i would have to agree <laughs> i just wish that she like pooped out of tesla you know i was just going to say that <laughs> Oh my god, still waiting on that Tesla baby. <laughs> it was Grimes' ori origin story. Yeah. It was like they put like hookups into Grimes' brain and that's what the girl dancing oh at the beginning, that was Grimes. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How do you even pronounce that? Is it what? titan? Yeah, like titan. I don't know. It's French. I don't. I'm titan. French. I should. Titan. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna keep that. The second real segment is called "The Empty Wake" by Simon Barrett, and you were saying that this one was your least favorite. Um, I, this one and then the final one, I guess, would have to be my least favorites. But yeah, this one, I don't know, it just felt flat to me. Why did it feel flat? It kind of reminded me of the first segment of um, VHS 2, where it was just kind of, it felt a little bit forced and a little bit, I don't know, like they're trying too hard to scare you, but it wasn't as scary as it could have been. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, I do like the I do like the body horror in that one. Yeah, I mean, it had a really they, good atmosphere. They definitely like fulfilled that aspect, I guess. Yeah. But I do agree. I do agree. Like it was kind of um it didn't really live up to the expectations of, of at least the other ones, especially Storm Drain. I think Storm Drain is the best one out of all of them. Yeah, I just felt like it it like it in the beginning, it was like really, really, really good. And then it just kind of like went and then it like, I don't know, it was a roller coaster, that one. Yeah, I agree. And I feel like they kind of saved it a little bit with some of the body horror elements that we won't Yeah, really that's because about. we're sluts for body horror, so. <laughs> with like the head on the ground. Yeah, the eyes. yeah. <laughs> that was good. So the third one is called The Subject by Timo yeah. Gianjanto. Okay, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Possum. Uh, I don't think I saw that one. Okay, I've only seen like bits and pieces of it, but there's essentially a head with spider legs that like chills this guy's corner of his room. Okay. And it's like his subconscious, I believe. It's really weird, but that's what like his like mechanical things in that movie like reminded me of. Like that's exactly what that was to me, you know? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, I, I felt like the atmosphere for that one, I really liked the way that it was directed, but I feel like it was too modern for the story because this was mm -hmm. supposed to be set in the 90s and this seemed like it was like very modern with the way that it was directed and stuff. Yeah. Um, um, it kind of, I don't know, it felt like it was a little bit too long, that segment. Yeah. I feel like it was um, kind of forced in there. Like if yeah. it didn't fit with the rest of them, I, I, I feel like. It was... I feel like it would have fit if it would have been a little bit shorter and they would have condensed it a little more and made it a little more graphic. Yeah. Maybe this was like Timo Janjanto's like way of like um, introducing his directing style because he's going to be doing A Train to the Sun remake. Oh, this guy? Mm, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. making the okay uh, <laughs> yeah are we gonna and, start a podcast so we can talk about this shit <laughs> i mean honestly do you want to <laughs> come on my podcast do my podcast with me. <laughs> do it you, we don't even have to do a video like this you can do like we can just do audio it'll be a we lot easier we can do video <laughs> so the last uh, segment that I, I want to bring up is called Terror by Ryan Prowse and to be honest uh, this was like the least memorable one for me I don't really remember much of this segment really like at all it didn't really stick out to me like it was I don't know it kind of it, it to me when I think about it the setting kind of feels like Fubar meets Fargo <laughs> uh, oh yeah true yeah I can see that <laughs> Um, yeah, that's how I felt about that one. <laughs> I I do like the in the grand scheme of things, I like how they put everything together. Like I how yeah, I like how the whole the whole movie as a, as a whole like works. But I don't know that one specifically. I just don't really. I don't, know, I don't really remember. There were a few time. misfires, but I feel like honestly, if Raven Banner were to continue with the VHS series, it will be really good because they delivered on the head smashing which we like we've been begging for head smashes head smashes yeah like, since you know <laughs> we were very let down with don't breathe too yeah and we did think they were gonna kind of give us a little bit of a, a skimp out but they, we, we weren't disappointed with that one 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, the last thing I wanted to touch on was that one. It's not a real segment, but it's that little commercial that you see in the movie. And that's mm-hmm. directed by Stephen Kostansky, who did Psycho Goreman, which yeah. is one of your favorite Baby. movies right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I know we love that one. Okay, so hang on. That commercial, we need to... Remember how I told you about um, Neil Blomkamp? What is it called? The Studios. Oat Studios, Volume 1. Yeah. Um, all throughout, he directs different commercials for, like, products that are, like, really bad and, like, very broken and things. Like, they're very funny. And that's what that reminded me of. Is that's what I was hoping for was more of that. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. And he he actually edited that one himself too as well. Mm-hmm. That's which cool. is surprising. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised he actually went through and edited and directed it. Well, well, I guess it. I don't know. I really liked PG. It felt, it felt like that. It felt authentic. You know, like it felt like someone mm-hmm. went through and made the costumes and really like was there with the kids to direct them. And yeah. So I can, you can expect that from him, I feel. <laughs> I definitely like the fact that Raven Banner picked this one up because they sent it, like they just went, you know, they went full send with this one. They did go they, full send. There was head smashing that would they, be considered full send. They did, They knew They knew what the fans wanted to see and what yeah, would save do. this franchise. And <laughs> that's what no, they put out. We haven't had a new VHS movie since 2014. Honestly, I just feel like if you if you're watching them and you you're watching them all together and you can like take out the fact from your like brain that it's kind of a shitty movie, they're fun to watch in, in succession. Yeah. But I mean you could cut the third one out. Okay. I would just <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, the 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 story that holds it together off. Oh. Yeah. But like a few segments are good. The one I don't mind the one where they have to go remember they go through the um the portals and they switch and then her fucking lady bits are eating everybody. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> did you just say lady bits? I, <laughs> I could have said the jiggle jaggle. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you know I'm keeping that in the video. <laughs> have any closing thoughts about Yeah, the I made that. What? <laughs> oh, this? <laughs> Yeah, I made that. <laughs> yeah, true. It's really cool. I just it? noticed that. <laughs> I try to keep that. I have the other one back here, too. I saw that one earlier. You're so cute. <laughs> I want to keep it in my set, even though I'm, like, too big, so you guys can't really see it. But <laughs> Well, we'll decorate it more with more artwork. <laughs> I wanted to show your stuff off. Thank you. Do you have any closing thoughts about the movie? Yeah. Hell, right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, thank you for being in this video. I really appreciate it. Of course. Thank you really for putting up with me and in the next few months when I go back to saying hail payment. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 you, do you want to close out my video with your closer? With my closer? You know what I'm talking about. What do you mean? Should we do it together? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's count down. I'll count down. Okay. okay. Three, two, one. Sayonara, Sayonara suckers. suckers. <laughs> <laughs>